Hello everyone, I'm Rogerio Almeida, Group Vice President for Workday's Global Partner Organization. We are back for a second edition of my favorite, which is the Workday Rising Daily, which I'm co-hosting with my friend, Patricia. Thanks, Rogerio. Hello, everyone. I'm Patricia Harris, Senior Vice President of Revenue and Experience Marketing at Workday. And if you joined us yesterday for the Workday Rising Daily, welcome back. We're wrapping up another day here at Workday Rising and we've got lots to share with you. The morning started with our Changemaker keynote. Our co-CEO, Carl Eschenbach, took the stage to reflect back on the news and announcements we shared yesterday. Let's hear from Carl. What you heard yesterday is that you can trust Workday to deliver technology. Technology that is more flexible and can adapt to change. It can empower and engage your employees and teams. We will drive decisions based on data, and we will deliver technology that's smart and gives you a different experience. This is technology that both anticipates and automates to help you work smarter and faster. And in doing so, as I said on day one, we will drive a step function change in human productivity. And if you want to learn more about yesterday's news announcements, and I know that you do, watch the first edition of the Workday Rising Daily at the Workday blog. You can find it at blog.workday.com. But back to today, Cal had some more great news for our customers. Effective February 2024, we're taking our SLA with all of you to 99.9%. We said we aspire to be the intelligent digital backbone that enterprises can trust with their most precious assets, their people and their money. And by moving to 99.9, .9, I hope you see we take that responsibility seriously and we will provide a platform that gives you more uptime than ever before. 99.9% .9 uptime for our customers, that is absolutely fantastic. Carl also had a great conversation on stage with Matt Wood, Vice President of Technology at Amazon Web Services. AWS and Workday have been partners for more than 10 years, and that partnership just keeps getting stronger. Here's a snippet from Carl and Matt's conversation. So Matt, our theme here this week is how the future works. And we've just highlighted some of the things we're doing together but that's not all. Why don't you take it a little further and talk about some of the things we're talking about here on stage today for the first time. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, our partnership has been pretty deep, uh, as I've been talking about. Um, we're working very closely and announced, you know, just this week, uh, the ability to be able to take Workday Extend and use that to be able to call native AWS services. And so you can start to take advantage of um, serverless computing with things like Lambda, uh, you can store your data in Amazon S3 and integrate the two through Lambda and take advantage of some of our AI uh, technologies. So you can start to very quickly and easily start to provide natural language processing, comprehension, summarization, translation, and the ability to be able to take scanned documents and extract the data out of those documents. So you can take the rows and the columns and all the cells inside a table from, say, a financial statement and actually export them directly into Workday uh, using machine learning. That's great. And all of this availability will be early next year, right? I know it's an early access with some of our that's right, customers we plan to, today. That's right, early access and then GA March 2024. Well, those are some exciting developments for, of course, our development community. Yes, it is a great partnership with AWS. Then after that, we heard some exciting news on our next level partnership with ADP. Our companies will continue to partner to create more seamless interactions between Workday and ADP systems to enable deep customer visibility into data across their HCM environment, including compliance, tax, and payroll. You can read more about it in our newsroom at workday.com. 
Patricia, now let's hear from some of our other customers who joined during the Changemaker keynote. They are change makers indeed. Up on stage we had Sunny Betty, CIO at Snowflake, and Andina Friedman, CEO and chair at Nasdaq. Both Snowflake and Nasdaq are full platform workday customers using all of our core applications to run the business. Let's hear from Sunny and Adina. Collaboration and alignment should, you know, it has to be designed in. It cannot be brute forced, right? Uh, and having a platform strategy for data or for an ERP system where you don't have, you know, disparate silos, um, you know, removes that level of friction. So uh, we've been able to, um, you know, drive roadmaps collectively with finance and HR because we use the entire platform and the data and the interdependency between these applications is really instrumental uh, and critical. So it, you know, having uh, Workday as a platform strategy for us has been really instrumental in driving that collaboration, removing the silos, and really driving that level of alignment. You just did a, a huge acquisition, Adenza, uh, and also, of course, NASDAQ. You know, so many tech companies trade on NASDAQ, and you are now integrating more and more tech and data and AI into your own system mm -hmm. to prepare for the future. Talk to us about how you're thinking about AI and machine learning. Yeah, sure, yes. Yeah. So we did announce that we are buying a company called Adenza, which provides risk management technology and regulatory reporting technology to banks and brokers all over the world. So it really fits really nicely and, and neatly into our liquidity pillar in terms of risk management and capital man managing your, your life in the capital markets. And then in the, in the integrity pillar, in terms of maintaining your relationship with your regulators and maintaining compliance and uh, you know, as a companion to anti-fin crime. So we're very excited about it. Um, but as you said, there's just an enormous amount of data uh, that it becomes available across these platforms. And we have actually taken an, uh, a very, we've leaned in a lot on AI. I'll give you t three examples. So first, in our anti-fin crime platform, it's actually a very advanced um, platform where we bring all the data across the 2,500 banks together mm -hmm. and, and a consortium uh, data lake. And then we apply Bayesian models and other forms of AI to look at patterns of behavior to have the, itself learn in terms of changes in behavior among, um, among different nefarious players, to be able to look at payor and payee information in a, in a very comprehensive way. And what that does is it makes the system much more effective in terms of not generating as many false positives. And we can prove to our clients that we can also root out more fraud than any internal system they have because of the access to all the data that we have. Ruggiero, I just love hearing those stories about the amazing things our customers have accomplished with Workday. And Snowflake and NASDAQ have been amazing customers to work with. Yes, they have, Patricia. So last up today, one of our workmates is going to take us on a journey through Innovation Hall here at Workday Rising. Our customers have spent more than two days learning about solutions for their industries, making connections with our partner companies, and so much more. Let's take a look. The core of Workday Rising this year is the Innovation Hall, where there's so many cool displays, experiences, and products this year. Let's go check them out. I'm here with Indy Baines, the VP of Global Industry Marketing here at Workday. And Indy, what are we demonstrating in the industry zone at Rising here? This year we really leaned into the fact that one of the reasons why our customers enjoy coming to Rising, quite frankly, is to connect with other customers. Sure. And they want to connect with other customers in their industry. You know, we as Workday, we are innovating with industry, for industry, with our customers. Right. And each industry community uh, brings a lot of expertise, brings a lot of experience and this is a great place for everyone to tap into that experience and tap into that expertise so they can take it back to their office the following week and uh, take advantage of it with their teams. I'm here with Barbary McGann from Workday Ventures. Barbary, welcome to Rising. Tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing here. Absolutely. So we are a 
strategic investment arm of Workday, okay. where we get to invest in innovative software as a service companies that augment and extend Workday's value to our customers. You learn something new every day. I've been with the company for nine years. I had no idea that Workday's had a ventures thing. Tell me about the booth that you guys have today. What exactly is this? What are people sitting down? What's the presentation like? Yeah, absolutely. So for each of their portfolio companies that are here today, they get to do a, a presentation. Okay. And so customers come to hear about all the innovation that our portfolio companies are having here. So I love it. what you see here is a full house. Okay. Almost every session yeah, that our portfolio companies have done today has had a full booth here. So it's been really exciting. So Workday Rising is a huge perk yeah. where it's zero fee. They get to come here and get to meet a lot of customers, get to also um, intermix and mingle with our product leaders across the board as well. All right, I'm here with Annette and Scott in front of the core here, and this year's rising, obviously a big emphasis on AI, machine learning, and et cetera. Uh, how are we highlighting Workday AI and machine learning innovation in the finance space? Well, I guess we should say, where are we not highlighting? Right. <laughs> <laughs> um, it was in the main stage keynote. Sure. Um, a lot of emphasis there, talking about our use cases. But what I love about this year, it's very conversational. Okay. So we've got people just walking up out of, out of nowhere, mm -hmm. asking questions. We're helping get in the right place, whether it's planning, whether it's uh, basic accounting, practice spend management, et cetera. It's all about, you know, this year it's all about data. We're talking a lot about data and how to manage your data and get it in one place. Sadly, it looks like for me, football is not quite life. But I'm going to be a goldfish and try again. For now, Patricia Ruggiero, back to you in the studio. Rogero, that was a great way to wrap up our coverage of the event's highlights today at the Workday Rising Daily. Well, it certainly was, Patricia, and it's hard to believe this wonderful week is coming to an end. It's been a week full of learning, sharing, seeing friends, old and new, and of course, making loads of new connections. And just enormously fun too. It's right. just been an absolutely oh, totally. great week. So much fun. Thanks to all the joined us at Workday Rising, both of course on site and through our digital experience. And we could only cover some highlights of the week here at Workday Rising Daily. You'll find out much, much more content at the Workday Rising site and the Workday blog. Take care everyone and thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining us and see you at Workday Rising next year.